Hi, in this video we will walk through your installation of the SkyDog router. Here are the contents of the package you received. You will notice standard items like a power supply, ethernet cable, and of course the router itself. Most customers will choose to replace their current router with the SkyDog router. However, there are other configurations that are possible with SkyDog. In this particular video, we will cover replacing an existing router assuming that DHCP is supported. DHCP is used by a majority of internet service providers out there. Step one is to create a SkyDog account. So with your current router set up connected to the internet, simply open an internet browser, log on to skydog.com, select login, and pick the geographic region that's appropriate for you. You can either sign in with an existing Google account, or you can create a SkyDog account. To create a SkyDog account, Simply enter your name, your email, create a password, enter your mobile number. Now both your email and mobile are important because this is how your SkyDog ne network will communicate with you. Once that's complete, select create account. Now you must register your new product. Every router comes with a unique identification code or UIC. Simply look on the back of the router at the yellow label and at the bottom you will find your UIC code. Now enter your UIC code, then enter a network name and select your time zone. You now have two options. You can click Make It Happen or Customize. Make It Happen is the quickest way to move to the next step. By clicking Make It Happen, SkyDog automatically creates a Wi-Fi name and a Wi-Fi password. Simply note these down and you're ready for the next step. You can always go back and change these at a later time. Alternatively, you can click Customize. In the Customize setting, you can create your own unique Wi-Fi name, your own unique Wi-Fi password, and adjust several other settings. You can also enter a zone name. Zones is a very unique feature to the SkyDog router. You're allowed up to three zones, and each zone works basically as a standalone virtual network. You will see more tutorials and information about zones throughout using the product. Now you can set up your notification settings. SkyDog uses both email and SMS to send you important information about your network, such as when a new device tries to connect to the network, when you've lost connectivity, or when an alert that you might have set to monitor a website is triggered. All of these notifications can be configured again at a later point in time. Now you're almost complete with your setup. Simply note down your Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password and click Confirm. The next step is to physically connect your SkyDog router. First, let's take a look at the back of the router. You will notice there's a power plug, four yellow LAN ports, and a blue WAN port. First step is to disconnect the Ethernet cable on your current router and plug it directly into the blue WAN port. Then recycle the power on your modem. Once that is up and running, connect the power cable to the SkyDog router. When you first connect the power cable, SkyDog will go through a series of tests to check your internet connection, check your speed, and also check to make sure it's running the latest firmware. Please be patient. This can take from two to five minutes and you will see the lights cycle through many times. Your SkyDog should now be connected. Thanks for watching this short video. Please be sure to watch other videos such as an overview of the dashboard and how to set up a new user. Thank you.